What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Miriam and Misty show. Yeah, I mean, Rumor Patrol. Rumor Patrol, yes. We've never co-hosted together, so this is historical. But anyway, I'm Miriam. You're I'm Misty. Misty Kingma, and this is going to be so much freaking fun. Because we're about to break down some rumors. Why don't we begin with rumor number one. Okay, is it true this week that Justin Bieber apparently called Miley Cyrus and told her to shut the f*** up? <laughs> I don't think he did that, but I think you know a bit more about it than I do. This is true. So you guys know that uh, Miley was on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, right. and of course they asked her about Biebs, and she did say a few things about him, nothing too crazy. Right. She basically said, Biebs, you have like a gajillion dollars, go pay someone <laughs> to get you out of trouble, touche. And no one knew what Justin Bieber had said, but now the National Enquirer, our source for all things truthful, apparently, allegedly, they are reporting that Bieber called Miley and was like, shut the f up. I just said that twice. I hope they beeped me out twice. They're gonna beep you out twice. Okay. So Justin called Miley after hearing that interview and said, shut the f up. I don't see him doing that. No. I don't believe this rumor at all. Why? Because they're friends. Isn't Miley a little older than him? He should look up to her, respect her. She's got it going on right now. He's got so many problems. He needs to have someone tell him, shut the f up. I think that is key why he probably didn't do that. Considering the spectrum of the problems yeah. on this guy right now, like considering that he's kind of wanted in several different countries, <laughs> I think what Miley said on the show is the least of his worries. Exactly. All Don't right, so like agree. a police officer right now? I do. Why? Like, cause rumor patrol. Oh, like, patrol. I feel like I get to like patrol people and I like it. Well, serving the state. Yeah. All right, good, keeping the Hollywood clean of rumors. So we think this one's false. Yes, false. So we're gonna move on to rumor number two. All right, rumor number two, Drizzy Drake is heated his fuming this week over Rolling Stone. So his his cover that was supposed to be on Rolling Stone isn't out yet, but they gave it to Philip Seymour Hoffman instead of Drake, so he's number one pissed about that. This is what we call Hollywood people problems. Yes, I didn't make the cover! But there's still a huge <laughs> article about him in the new Rolling Stone magazine. Not good enough. It's not good enough, no. <laughs> so in the magazine, he's now secondly mad because he thinks that Rolling Stone is misquoting him, talking about Kanye, because now they have this bromance going on. So aside from that, Rolling Stone is reporting that Drake has dissed Macklemore and Jay-Z, so regarding Macklemore, which I think is kind of weird. So Macklemore won a ton of awards at the Grammys over Kendrick Lamar. Macklemore texted Kendrick like, hey man, you were robbed, you should have won. He posted that online. Drake's now saying that Macklemore texting Kendrick was, quote, whack as shit. Here's what else he said about Macklemore. <laughs> that the text, it felt cheap, it didn't feel genuine. Take your W and if you feel you don't deserve it, go get better, make better music. So Maybe he's saying his music sucks. Maybe people are wondering what W means. Maybe you should break it down. Oh, W means win. There you go. Or whatever. Okay. Thank if you you're for in that. The 90s. And apparently he also said a few things about Jay-Z. Yeah, I actually really like this because I think it's hilarious. Misty! And I hope this is real. Wait, 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 wait. You haven't even heard him say it yet. Okay. okay bye. So supposedly Drake <laughs> said, it's like Hove can't drop bars these days without at least four art references. Hove, of course, is Jay-Z's nickname. She didn't know that. Why are you why are you throwing <laughs> me under the bus? <laughs> Drake also said, I would love to collect art at some point, but I think the whole rap art world thing is getting kind of corny. Did he just call Jay-Z corny? He did. That happened. Not okay. That just happened. Not okay. I think this rumor might be true, but we have to wait till Rolling Stone, right. officially the magazine comes out to know, but I think it might be true. Which is the last thing that Drake wants right now, because now he's saying that all media is evil, which it kind right. of is, except us, except us. on Rumor Patrol. Oops. Um, and I do understand what he's saying though, when you're kind of losing the authenticity of your art and you're playing into Absolutely. cliches and it's like, oh, here's a formula to do, to mention artwork and Picasso and my newest rap is apparently it's on cool. Board. Yeah. Exactly. All that. So you know what? Good for him for trying to keep it real and trying to bring rap back to its original place. Absolutely. But at the same time, good for other artists for trying to evolve the genre. Boom. That so was me being true? PC. I think it's... It, Considering how open he is, like how raw he is when he's speaking, I, I definitely think it's true. All right, we think it's true. Moving on. Rumor number three is about Selena Gomez and Demi Lovato. So the talk of the town, let's show, show them some love. The talk of the town is, first of all, these two are besties. Yeah. I love seeing them together. They're yeah, just so cute and like, you know, BFF-like. And so now apparently, 
Just keep going. Just keep going while Demi, I make my face. <laughs> please do, as I speak. Okay. Uh, apparently, Demi Lovato uh, was key in Selena Gomez actually going to rehab, which makes total Crazy. rational sense. Absolutely. Yeah. What'd she say? Or what are people saying that she did? Well, apparently, according to In Touch, an insider, some random person, has told In Touch that uh, Demi helped her find strength to do it, uh, told her it was okay to have a problem so long as, you know, you're addressing your issues. Yeah. You know what? Here's the thing. And you all know this because everyone in the world has a bestie and there's nothing that you do like any big decisions without having your best friend weigh in on it totally this makes perfect sense <laughs> right so maybe she was obviously thinking about it she went to Demi Lovato and was like yo I'm having some emotional struggles here what do you think I should do obviously you should go to rehab. exactly I think that makes perfect sense yeah. I think this rumor is true but of course we need a couple more sources to confirm it but I'm thinking it's true well, I think it also makes sense that the minute the news came out about Selena's uh, rehab stint, uh, Demi Lovato sent a tweet supporting her. In right, the tweet, right, she right. said something like, uh, weakness is living in denial. Only the strongest people ask for help. So, yeah. It's true. So oh. you think it's true? You think the rumor's true? I definitely think it's true. Okay. You, so we both think it's true. Yeah. All right, so we have deconstructed these rumors and- We'll wait to hear more. Yep. But of course, you guys, we have to end with some shout outs. So normally I know, I think we picked some shout outs from Twitter and maybe YouTube. I went the YouTube route this week. Let me just open my phone. I picked one shout out that I'm gonna read off my phone here. I pulled a comment from the latest DHR episode on Thursday. Um, from Upuli Jaya Singh. I love her. Hashtag Bruno Mars, star of the week. His speech definitely inspired me. He one cool human being. And I don't think Bruno gets enough love, so I wanted to shout out Bruno I Mars. I complete, we are yeah. so here when it comes to music. I yeah. totally agree about the Bruno being undervalued. Keep going. All right, Who next else? shout out was from our recent Jennifer Lopez story on Clever News about her upcoming World Cup anthem song, which is gonna be super awesome. Yes. This is from Kaiser. And I love this comment. You're going to love that I picked this because it's really weird. <laughs> Lol, those performances during the World Cup opening are always so awkward. People who go watch football want to see football. Singers almost always get booed and whistled away. It's really incredible for me to see that people actually enjoy the American football halftime show. I thought that was interesting. Ah. Like someone is saying, hey, singers, get away from the football. Right. We want to see the football. Right, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, which one would you prefer? Like, when you watch sports, do you oh, just Oh, I prefer wanna... just the singers. Me too. I literally <laughs> slept during the Super Bowl and woke up during the halftime, ate a bunch of chips and dip, and then went back to sleep. It was from a bad game anyway. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, so thank you guys for those shout outs. Definitely leave us some comments below because we want to know what you thought about all those rumors. Thank you guys so much for watching the Misty and Miriam show. Ah, I mean, Rumor Patrol. <laughs> I'm Misty. This is Miriam. See you guys next week.